What's up guys, Jen here, the one and only Miss River City, taking you on a walk down memory lane with some of your favorite Atlanta rap celebrities. Before I get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. So for those who don't know, I was an editor at Ozone Magazine and I handle viral promotions for DJ Scream's mixtape. So I got to be a fly on the wall at some pretty epic moments in Atlanta rap history. And I got to give all the praises and glory to God for putting me in the right places at the right time. I couldn't have done any of this without him. So the pandemic has actually given me some time to go back through the archives and pull up some of these classic moments. And here I present to you some of my favorite photos caught on camera. Now this first picture is of Play a Circle with Ludacris. And for those of you who, are, who remember, this was Titty Boy and Dalla. And this is before T Titty Boy changed his name to 2 Chain. So this was back in the club in Atlanta. And yeah, it was a pretty good time. Here we have a photo of Crime Mob. And this was around 2006. And Nuck If You Buck was still one of the hardest songs in the club. And it still is to this day, if you ask my opinion. So you can check out the young Princess and Diamond there who only get better and better every year and shouts out the Crunchy Black. And I actually met DJ Scream when he was touring with Crime Mob and I got linked up with him and started helping out with his mixtapes and you'll see here Scream is wearing the signature white sunglasses that he used to rock and he used to never leave the house without those glasses so yeah that was back when uh, I met DJ Scream and through him I got linked up with a lot of the artists in Atlanta including Future and this is a photo of Future and Rocco and DJ Esco at Magic City. And I believe this was for the shooting of the Magic video. So the next day, this footage was all over the internet and it was a big viral hit. And it was a really big moment for Future's career of him getting some of that national exposure and getting known outside of Atlanta. So here's another really big moment. This was at Hot 107.9. We got Future, we got 2 Chains, we got DJ Drama, Rocco, DJ Sense, and DJ Scream. And this was a little bit later on in the game. So Scream at this point was not wearing the white sunglasses. But yeah, so this was a radio interview up at the radio station. And I did get to work on the Gangster Girls tape with DJ Drama and two chains and this was right around when two chains changed his name and so we had to do a big media campaign for that and to get that known so yeah this was um up at hot 107.9 in atlanta and this is a studio in atlanta for a private listening session for gorilla zoe's album and zaytoven was there and sunny digital and um, got some pictures of that. And uh, and speaking of Zaytoven, here is another photo of Zaytoven in the studio. And this was with Gucci Man. And I don't think that this was Zaytoven's studio. It was another studio. But for those of you who know the story, Zaytoven actually started off in the studio in the basement at his parents house so he built this studio and he would have the rappers come in and record and gucci man was you know one of those rappers and zay blew up like that and took off from there so i also got to meet oj the juice man and i was the first one that interviewed OJ for a magazine feature and it was the cover interview for Ozone magazine and so it was his first major interview and it was my first cover interview so it was a really big moment in the career in my career and his as well and um, he used to invite me out to come take pictures and and uh, shoot shoot his shows and I have some footage from one of our old interviews and I'll make sure that I post that in the description box below so you can check that out. So this is actually on the east side of Atlanta, I believe, um, maybe at a video shoot or just kicking it. But yeah, he used to have that bright orange car and <laughs> and it came, made for some pretty good pictures. 
So here next we got T.I. and Tiny. And this was at T.I.'s restaurant opening in Atlanta. And they were kind enough to let me take a photo while they were waiting on their meal. Now this was back during the pink polo era. If y'all remember, everybody was rocking the pink polos. So this was back during that time. And that salad is actually making me really hungry. So I'm going to go grab some lunch right after this. And then next up we got Waka Flocka. Now Waka came up in the open mic scene in Atlanta. He was signed to Brick Squad, but he was out there hustling independent on his own, really getting his music out there. And there was just one song and people would always come to the open mics for it. And it was, oh, let's do it. And they knew all the words and it was just super hype. And I got some footage of that too, that I'll make sure I post for you as well. So I met Waka in the open mic clubs and we introduced him to DJ Scream and DJ Scream cleaned up the record and put it on the radio. And as soon as it hit the airwaves, like it was out of here, it was an instant hit. So that's a little bit of the history behind that. Next up, we got Young Jeezy at the Recession album signing back in 2008 and yes it is a little bit ironic to be posting this picture now with everything going on but it's definitely fitting and kind of shows how history repeats itself but this was at the recession album signing and the the line to the place was just wrapped around the door everybody wanted their uh their posters signed and i had to hustle my way to the front and elbow people to get this photo and if you read the blog that i post I talk about how at another concert I couldn't get in. So when Jeezy and his crew pulled up, I pretended to be part of the entourage and kind of snuck in with them. And I don't, I don't know how I got away with that, but I did. And when you're a hustling photographer and you got to get in somewhere, you'll make it happen any way you can. So shouts out to young Jeezy on that. So before we go, I want to leave you with this picture of myself and Mike Will at Patchwork Studios. I got to work on a lot of records with Mike Will when he was coming up and he called it. He definitely made it. He knew he was going to make it. There was no doubt in his mind and he didn't quit until he got it. So uh, yeah, shout out to, to Mike Will. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel and you give the video a like and if you want to keep up with some more photos i'm on instagram at miss river city ms river city and make sure you follow the lovely dj roots queen as well at dj roots queen and stay tuned for more content coming 